Hi everybody, welcome back to OMG TV for Adult Doll Collectors and today we're going to talk about the series for full looks but before we get started, if you like Rainbow High Shadow High OMG, subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss when I upload and if you know somebody else who likes that stuff, send my channel to them so that they can do the same. Alright, so let's get started. First thing I want to focus on is the back of this box. That's the first thing I want to talk about. Only because it says something different on the back and you can see the artwork, which is so beautiful. Okay. So we have our six girls. We've got the burgundy, the saffron, the buttercup, the emerald, the cobalt, and the purple or uh, violet. Okay. And at the bottom, it says rainbow high where creative students with style use glam, grit, love, action, and moxie to make their performing arts and fashion dreams come true so yeah we got i mean the artwork is beautiful everybody looks so gorgeous on the back of it i absolutely cannot wait to get this series they look so cute um off the rip though uh the saffron girl kind of reminds me of georgia to be honest just by her artwork but um let's go ahead and look at the first doll okay we're going to talk about the burgundy girl. She's beautiful off the rip uh, inside of her box. She's cute. I like it a lot. Her name is Mila Barrymore. Okay. Or Mila. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Mila. I, look, don't pay me no mind. <laughs> okay. So she's got those infamous uh, rings in her hair that was showed in the clip of her before the sneak peek. And I'm going to tell you off the rip, unless I want to change her hair, like, drastically, those rings are going to stay in there because they look too intricate for me to try to bother. But they're really cute. She's got the long hair. It's, it's straight, pretty much no curl to it. And her makeup is pretty. It goes from the light burgundy to the darker burgundy uh, gradient style. And then it has that blunt white. Uh, she's got purple eyes. And she's got some really red lips. Like, <laughs> her lips are really red. And that's that's cute. I like it a lot. Um, she's got the silver earrings. They're big and, you know, dangly. I don't know what is, you know, on the earrings. I'm pretty much going to assume that it's an SH just by the shape of it. Um, but um, she's got this, uh, her dress. It's really cute. It's pleather. She's got the black collar. She's got zippers going down the front. She's got zippers on the pockets going up and going across. She's got a belt going across. She's got <laughs> black, you know, accents all over the place. And she's got some, um, uh, you know, um, I guess like, I don't know what you're going to call those, those little metal circles. Um, and she's got these fishnet sleeves. So I'm pretty sure that that's not connected to the dress. So that's going to be an extra piece of clothing. And y'all, the detail that they put into these characters, like these dolls, are amazing. Because look at her stockings. Now, at first glance, I thought they were just stockings, like with a design on them. But the design is an R, an upside down R, and, a, <laughs> and an upright R. So I was like, wow, I, that's crazy. I had to look hard to catch that. And, um, so that's her first outfit. She's got the burgundy color nails, of course. And you can see a little peak of her boots at the bottom, but I'll, you know, I'll show you her fully out of the box in a second. I wanted to focus on her inside the box first. And her second outfit does not wow me. Okay. I don't really understand what it is. It kind of, <laughs> it looks cute-ish. I mean, I like that's a fake jacket made onto like it's just one solid piece so it's not like it's a whole jacket it's just one dress and it's uh it's kind of you know i mean i just i i can't really put my finger on what it looks like because it just looks solid like one piece and usually they have more than one piece in their fashions like you can mix and match so that kind of threw me off um but her boots though her boots uh-uh, them boots is off the hook. I love them boots. Y'all, they got the the design. The same design that's at the bottom of the dress is on these knee-high or thigh-high. I'm sorry, because them things got to be higher than her knees. 
They are cute. They're black. They've got their white design, um, whatever the design is called, I don't know. Uh, and they got the burgundy sole on the heel. Oh, my goodness. I love those boots. She's rocking it with those. So now we can take a look at her with just all of her clothes on out of the box, her first outfit. And she's cute. Those boots are killing it. I love those boots with the steel toe and the steel heel. And she's got the buckles on it. She's got some laces that are, uh, I'm pretty much sure that they're molded on. Um, but yeah, she looks, I like her whole look all together. Her hair is long. She looks really pretty in this picture. She's got an R on her dress. Yeah. She's rocking it. She's like, she kind of reminds me of Evie from Descendants. Is that just me? Yeah, she kind of reminds me of Evie. My daughter and my kids watch that show so much. It's like embedded in my head. <laughs> and I didn't see that thing so many times. Lord, okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, she's very, she's very pretty. She's, you know, she's up there on, on the top of the series, you know, the list. So let's talk about the second girl. And we have our saffron girl, Miss Mina Falor. Okay, she's got the henna tattoos. She's the one that like, like stood out a lot to me. Um, look at her hair. Okay, look at all that beautiful hair. It is beautiful. Her face is strikingly beautiful because I really like how they gave her the eyes and, and the, the makeup around it. The glittery orange. She looks so pretty. Okay, so inside of her hair, she's got that, you know, ponytail, and then she's got the six um, clips in there. She's got some golden earrings. Again, her makeup is pretty with the, the uh, glitter around it. She's got some, you know, uh, like orange colored lipstick. She has a shirt, and I'm pretty sure I don't see how far down her shirt hangs over her shoulder, but I'm sure it's there. And she's got that arm cuff. Like, that's the new piece to the line, to the series, or to Rainbow High, the arm jewelry. Yeah, I love that. She's got golden bangles on each wrist, and, of course, she has the henna tattoos. And that was the, you know, the biggest wow for me. That was so cute. Um, her pants are gold, okay? And it looks like they have a, you know, a gold shimmery type of uh, material. You can see her shoes... I think, I don't know if that's part of her shoes or if that's part of her pants, but you can see it's laced up into, oh, okay, okay. Let me tell you, she's got some holes or little pieces in her pants that you can lace through. That's pretty interesting. Never seen that before. Um, now, her dress is beautiful. Oh, my goodness. I love this dress. It's two pieces. It looks like she has a top and she has a bottom. That design on there is beautiful with the jeweled embellishments and the high low dress or skirt. And it's got the tie around it. Like it might be a wrap around type of thing. Oh, but that is cute. She's got the, uh, the top that has white and orange on it. It's got the beautiful design. It's got like little pom poms around the the bust area, y'all. I love her. And do you see? Notice her shoes are flat. Okay, so they're not gonna be coming with hangers, but they will be coming with. I'm assuming, the extra legs, because you know our girls can't wear flat shoes unless they got a different pair of legs to change into. So, but they're cute. They're sandals. They lace up. They have, you know, it looks like it's a design on each one of the straps that go across her feet. So that's cute. Um, let's look at her outside of the box. And yes, okay. Now let's figure out this shoe situation with the lace. Okay, the laces is just on the pants. It's not on the shoes. Okay, so we got that established. Um, but she's got, looks like a pair of heels here. You can't really see them good, but they look, you know. They look basic, not going to lie about that. Uh, her pants, they're cute. Um, 
But I do. Look at her face. Look at her face and her hair with that little ponytail. Yeah. She's stunning. She's stunning. She's a must-have for your collection. That's for sure. Um, I don't know how I feel about the pants too tough. I just had to see them up close in person. Um, but I love her hair. It's got the different t tones of orange in there or saffron or whatever color you want to call it. It's beautiful. Um, I really like that they are incorporating different cultures in this line, though, because that's, you know, representation, y'all. She's dope, though. She's fire. Okay, let's check out our next girl. And this is Miss Delilah Fields. And right off the rip, Miss Delilah Fields is daisied out, okay? She has daisies everywhere. So first, let's talk about her hair. She has blonde hair with two ponytails to the front of her hair and two daisies in there, okay? And her hair is curly, and it's curly like Miss Georgia Blooms. And I love that when a doll has curly hair. That's just my preference. Um, but... She's very cute, y'all. She has those golden frames. Like I said, I'm glad she has to wear glasses. Because, girl, I got to wear glasses, too. So, and she's got gray eyes. And if you can look closely, her eyelashes are white, which still leads me to believe that she is albino. And uh, she's got the black eyeliner. I can't really see her makeup because, once again, she has glasses on. Uh, she's got gold earrings. She has some reddish lips. And she's got a, a daisy bracelet um, that's on her wrist. And her outfit is so cute. This girl, she makes me feel like it's springtime. And, like, I'm ready to just go run through some, some daisy fields because they're everywhere. <laughs> her outfit is so cute. It's nice and light. She's got a yellow. Um, I'm going to say that this is a top because I don't think it's a dress because I see something underneath it. But she's got a collar on there, and this she's got some sleeves that's, you know, short sleeves. She's got some faux pockets, I believe, or maybe they work. Maybe they work. She's got a belt that goes through the shirt with the R that's, you know, looks like it has a design on it. It's golden. And she's got lace at the bottom of this. And so on each part where the lace comes to the tip, she has a daisy on there on each part so she um has looks like a shorts or a, um maybe a skirt underneath that top and also there's a white shirt so i think this is three pieces um and if you look down you can see her lace socks it looks like she has some boots on so you gotta wait to see her out the box but look at her second outfit she's got the low cut top with it looks like a little midriff showing and she's got the puffy sleeves she has a ribbon going around the front of her top and it looks like it ties in the back she's got white jeans on and at first glance y'all i thought those was holes in her in her pants but those are actually daisies and, and uh her shoes y'all her shoes are my favorite out of her whole outfit because look at the daisies going around there they're white and they have, like, that yellow color for the soul. I mean, she's so cute. I love it so much. I can't wait to get this line. Each doll is an individual doll. Like, they don't all have that same just basic look. You know what I mean? Like, you can say, oh, well, I mean, it's just you get one, you get them all. No, each one of these is different. Y'all, look at her outside of her outfit. I mean, outside of the box. It's cute. It's really cute. Look at her boots. They got the R and the H on there. They got the buckle going around. And it's, you know, got the gold accents all around it. Like, the gold lace. She's got the golden heel or whatever. She's cute. Look how she's standing there, y'all. And, she and she's got the edges. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that she's albino, y'all. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But I think she is. She's so adorable. Go ahead, girl. All right, y'all, let's check out our next doll, who is Miss Jewel Ritchie. She's stunning. Look at her face. She's stunning, okay? Her hair, she has half of it up and half of it down. She's got two braids coming up. She's got the edges going on. She's got her vitiligo on her face, and it's so cute. It looks like she has a little heart on the hair. 
Um, she's got the uh, emerald color all around her eye, like, you know, her eyes, her makeup, and then her eyes are emerald as well. She's got the reddish, you know, or burgundy-ish colored lips. She's got gold earrings. You saw the earrings in the sneak peek. They got that big old giant emerald in there. She's got the emerald necklace. She's got a fur. Um, I'm going to call it a shawl because it don't look like it have no sleeves. And she's got the sequin dress, the high-low. They loving that high-low now. Um, you can see her vitiligo on her hands. And she's got some gold bracelets. Now, she's got the vitiligo on her feet as or on her legs as well. So, I love this. I'm so happy that they gave us this. I can't wait to see what other parts of her has the vitiligo. Like, if you change her outfit, are you going to see some on her stomach too? Are you going to see some on her feet? Like, she's very beautiful. Um, I love the color. I love the color. You want to hear what's crazy? I got sheets on my bed right now that that's that color. Like, that's cool. I You know, so I love it. Um, her second outfit, cute. Cute. She's got the, is that, like, supposed to be, like, gator skin? A skirt. It looks like it has lace on there, like, black lace on the sides of it. She's got the bralette top, you know, with the white uh, stitching going around it. She has a jacket, and it looks like it's got it's got fur around the collar, and then it's faux leather, and it's got zippers on the sleeve and on the front. And she's so cute. I love her second outfit. Like, her outfit is going to really be one of those that everybody incorporates into different outfits. You know what I'm saying? That piece. Um, her shoes are really cute. Her heels, they are the emerald color with silver. And it's got the silver embellishments going around the shoe as well. Um, let's take a look, of her, look at her outside of her box. And like I said, she's stunning. <laughs> she's stunning. Look at the... Look at her uh, vitiligo marks. Like, that's so cute. That's pretty. Like, you can see some, you can make some shapes out. Like, it looks like on her knee, she's got a little bunny rabbit. <laughs> like, it's so, so interesting. And then you see her, her uh, shoes, they're laced up. And, you know, they're pretty basic shoes. They kind of remind me of um, how Emmy has the purple lace on hers. Uh, you can't see the heel shape, but they're cute. I mean, I I love this doll. I love her. She'd probably be the first one that I buy simply because I love the color and I love the fact that she has a vitiligo. Uh, she just, it looks really cute. Um, let me go ahead and talk about the next one, y'all, because I still got all these dolls to talk about three more and we are already 18 minutes into this video and I'll, you know. Okay, so now we got Miss Coco Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt, that's her name? Yeah, Coco Vanderbilt. And she's cute. She has the blue hair. She's got the sunglasses. You know, from the sneak peek, you can see that she has the hoop earrings, the S and the H at the bottom. Her top is white with blue designs on it. You got some stripes. You got some, some circles. She's got the lace top. Okay, um, the top, not a lace top, the top that laces up. Okay, she's got the skirt. She gives me very much 2000s Y2K fashion, like when everybody was trying to wear them lace up tops and then having like, you know, sports theme type of stuff on. Like, that's who she reminds me of. I could be wrong, but that's just me. Um, yeah, she's got her nail polish you can see it's the blue color her outfit is a little busy though it is a little busy but she's cute i do like it uh her second outfit is like um is that like a a race car jacket it says rainbow and then the 86 at the bottom and once again like i said this is so 2000s like y2k fashion that dress is white and it has like why do i keep saying baseball type of thing uh, with the lace up, you know, and the, and the, the strings hanging, I, I, it's just two thousands. I, I like it though. Um, I like her shoes. They have the sock looks like inside of it. And then she's got the straps going and it's got a black line through it with the white heel. You know, she's cute though. She's got the blue makeup and then the white, 
eyeliner in there as well. She's got like the, the, the little shimmering brownish golden lips. She's got two ponytails in her hair. She's got a little bit of curl to that. Like she's cute. Let's let's check her outside of the box. And yeah, like I said, she's really cute. Look at her shoes. Okay. So you don't even have to put the socks on with the shoes. That's dope. Because they didn't put it in here. Her shirt, you can actually read it. It says rainbow. Uh her shoes, y'all. Yeah, I like them shoes. I do. I like them. But she she's very busy. But you got to know what she's what she represents, and I think it's the two thousand style, and that's what the style was all about. Like, I like it. I wonder if her dress is that kind of like swishy type of fabric, because that's what it looks like. Um, oh, but she's killing it. She's killing it. I love that blue color. Go ahead, sis. I love it. I do. Uh, yeah, you can see in her glasses right here. It has the R H. In there as well so I can't wait to see are they gonna put these dolls inside the episodes like they better because they too epic not to really yeah come on now I, I can't wait to see them in it but let's talk about this last girl we got miss Lala Yamamoto and um, that's how I'm saying it y'all she's cute I love her hair. Her hair, first of all. That's my favorite part, her hair. It's so cute. She's got the different tones of violet in there. Purple. No violet. She's got the different tones in there. That is cute. And her face is very cute. She's got the uh, little band-aid across her nose. And she's got the, the you know stickers on the side. I wasn't sure 100% how much I was going to like that. But it's cute on her. And she's also got ribbon in her hair with those bangs. Come on, y'all. Look at her outfit. She has like a kimono on. Uh, it's got some silver in there, some silver like uh, clasp and a silver buckle around her belt. And like they updated it like a kimono. It's really cute. Um, let me talk about her earrings real quick, how they're, they're dangly, like they're long and they're white. It looks like maybe has some silver in there. I can't really tell. It's a little shimmery. Um, but her top is cute. It is. I like her gloves with the purple, you know, and the silver buckle. I like her skirt. It's got the writing on the side. She's got jewel embellishments or pearl. I'm sorry, pearl embellishments all around the skirt with a, a faux zipper. She has something hanging from her shirt. Oh, my goodness. How cute. Look at the details, y'all. And, and see, when I look at Rainbow High, I just look like details, just like with OMGs. Like, MGA really goes all out with their details. It ain't just a simple, you know, bracelet. It's not just a simple necklace. It's got to have details, and it's not just a simple plain skirt, you know. It, the details. The details. Like she's got, you can see... From, you know, peeking from underneath, she's got a sock on. So we have to figure that out when she's out the box. Uh, but her second outfit is more traditional and it's cute. I like the skirt. Um, she's got the big bow and, and like ribbon or rope. I mean, it's just, it's so cute. I really enjoy looking at her. And I mean, her name is Lila, which is my mother-in-law's name. So you know she's already got straight up. Uh, her eyes, she's got blue eyes. I forgot to talk about that. Um, her dress is, is cute. I think this is two pieces because it looks like I can see the shirt um, peeking from, uh, you know, peeking underneath the bow. So I think that's two pieces. It could. It looks like the skirt that Karma has. That's who has that skirt. It looks just like Karma's skirt. Okay. Um, and look at her shoes. I do not know what they're called. But she's got those traditional type of, uh, like, they look like they made out of wood. And the ribbon on it, y'all, with the beautiful painting on it. They went, they pay so much detail to stuff. Like, that's crazy. It's so cute. Oh, I can't wait to see her in her traditional outfit. That's going to be dope. It is. And to put her in the show, like, when you put each one of these dolls in the show, it's gonna incorporate so much more to this to the episodes to Rainbow High. They gotta give these girls some some screen time because we need it. 
we need it. We see so much of series one, and, and that's what it's supposed to be, the core dolls, but add some more of the other dolls in here so that we can all get our feel of seeing these dolls, these, these different these different representations on screen. Um, so what do you guys think? Let me know. Who is your favorite out of all of this? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, before I go, I forgot. Let's see Miss Lala out of her box. And y'all, do you see she has on the platform Crocs? The platform Crocs with the, with the uh, what they call it, gibbets on the shoe? Come on, y'all. Y'all, how cute is that? That, mm, th that is so cute. I don't wear the platform Crocs only because I'm so tall. <laughs> but... Uh, everybody has Crocs, like, with the gibbets on there. Come on, I'm so, yeah, I like it. And she's got the socks on there, some little plain white socks. This is cool. This is cool. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Who is your favorite? Who do you not like? Is it underwhelming? Is it overwhelming? Is it just, you know, what you expected? Hit me up in the comments, y'all. Hit me up. I know this is a long video, but we had to talk. I couldn't just put no pictures up and, and some music behind it. Come on now. That ain't me. This is how we had to do it around here. So, um, yeah, like I said, I don't think they're coming with hangers. I think they're coming with extra legs. And I think it's time that we get some, some fashion packs with just some basic stuff in it so that we can all of our girls can have different color shoes or different flat shoes with different colors because everybody's shoes ain't going to match with everybody, you know. So I think it's time for some fashion packs to come out. Just not a lot of clothes, not a lot of stuff. Just a, a couple little basic pieces would be nice. But, uh, yeah, that's about it, y'all. I hope you guys have a safe and wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe for more leaks and all of that stuff or more pictures and more news, more tea, okay. And thanks for tuning in with me on OMG TV.